As the number of grass fires rise, the Waco Fire Department is working to educate people about fire danger through a second Citizens Fire Academy. The academy will take place in September and October, with graduation coinciding with Fire Prevention Week. Fox 44's PJ Hesner spoke with a lieutenant of the Waco Fire Department today about what courses participants can expect to see in these lessons. PJ. Thanks, Adam. Yes, Lieutenant Guillory told me that participants will get a chance to learn from the professionals about the core job functions through classroom instruction, hands on participation, and live demonstrations. Lieutenant Keith Guillory of the Waco Fire Department says the Citizens Fire Academy includes hands on, live fire demonstrations and a chance to see what their fire tactics look like. This gives an opportunity for an individual uh, who may want to be a firefighter uh, to come in and see what we do on a day to day, see our, what our tactical rescue teams look like, what our fire operations look like, um, CPR training, get all the training that, um, that we get. Topics and activities include Waco's hiring and training process, apparatus familiarization, hazardous materials, urban search and rescue, fire tactics, and life-saving CPR training. They get an opportunity to go inside of a, of a burn chamber. That's part of the, the evolutions that are out there. They get the classroom exercises, the same things that we do when we do our, um, our, our continuous education. We go in the classroom, we learn our operations, we want to bring the community in so they can see what we do. The academy also includes vital lessons on increasing fire and life safety awareness especially during times of soaring temperatures in a severe drought. Our advice to them is to, is to be, get hyd you know, be hydrated if you go out into this heat. Uh, try to stay indoors if you can until it cools off a little bit. There's not, there's not a big break in the, in the heat, so try to go in the evening time if you want to exercise. Now, Lieutenant Guillory also told me that a lot of their calls are coming from heat-related emergencies, such as heat stroke and heat exhaustion, from people who are trying to brave the heat out of wanting to go to work or working out. In the newsroom, Fox 44, PJ Hester.